Welcome back. Today we have a sun hood for the Mavic Air 3 by DJI from RC Geek. So maybe like some of you out there, I've had a little bit of difficulty finding cases, uh, or not cases, but sun hoods that actually work with my particular case. This one right here is for an iPad mini. As you can see, it kind of just, it doesn't quite fit. So. I've bought like three or four others of them and returned them all because they just, they're either too small or they're too wide and it just doesn't hold the uh, phone itself in there. And which is a concern because you don't want anything slipping out or falling out and you definitely want uh, protection. I know I do anyways because when I'm out there, sometimes I just cannot see the screen for anything and I actually have to physically move to go find a location where I can get a little bit of shade so that I can actually see what's going on. However, this one looked promising. I found this on Amazon. I'll post a picture right up here in a moment. And uh, I think it was about 15 bucks, if I'm right. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Fancy packaging, it's always a, a plus. A little nicer to open. Okay, we have just the unit itself in here. Little plastic bag to help protect it in shipping. All right, it folds up a little, uh, folds up nice and small. It's not that different than maybe the size of one that you would get for your tablet, things along that line. Maybe a little bit smaller, but you know, being for a phone, it's kind of expected. So, with this one, you just pop this guy up here and stick the Velcro on. Make sure your little flap right here is open because that's where your cable's gonna go through. And let's go ahead and see uh, about getting it on the device itself. So with the Mavic Air 3, obviously, this, uh, or Air 2 that is, uh, this actually links up, or it's designed to link up with the controller itself. So it's gonna pop on there just like you would a controller. And then you can take your phone and then just go ahead and connect that on there. Which I am currently in the process of, as you can tell, obviously. Looks like you gotta kind of slide it behind a little bit, stabilize it, but it's not bad. Nice and steady, has a little blockage. You can run this cable, which I don't know about you guys, but. I forget to move that cable almost every single time I put this in here. Not too bad. Looks like it uh, may do exactly what I need it to do. Just kind of uh, get out there. I'll uh, take it outside here in a little bit. We do got a, uh, a bit of a sunny day, so maybe I can get some shots to see if there's a difference, you know, with and without it on. The old light right there. But yeah, that's not bad. It actually uh, seems like it's exactly what I was looking for. So maybe if you were looking for something similar, the RC Geek Mavic Air 2 hood might be just what you need. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so uh, here we are in beautiful Virginia Beach. I apologize if there's gonna be any sound issues. I've uh, not quite got that fancy yet. So I'm making do with what I got. Uh, as you see, I currently have the uh, controller set up without the sun hood on it. So we're going to sit here for a moment and actually use a separate phone to kind of get the video so you can kind of see just how dark it can be out here in Virginia Beach on your screen. 
screen with all the sun glaring off of it. And then here in a moment, I will go ahead and switch over to the visor. And we'll take a look at how much uh, that changes it. Stop the phone to kind of get the video so you can kind of see just how dark it can be out here in Virginia Beach on your screen with all this sun glaring off of it. And then here in a moment, I will go ahead and switch over to the visor and we'll take a look at how much uh, that changes. All right, now we're back. I was just kind of waiting for a couple of these uh, jets to go by. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at it using the sunshade, which I don't know how much this is coming through on video, but the phone itself, a lot more visible. I uh, really wish I would have found something like this on day one. So with that being said, uh, you know, check it out as you can, or if you'd like to, uh, as far as me, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of flight because what's the point of actually being out here if you're not going to go fly right all right well y'all uh, have a good day and take care So real quick, those of you new to drones, I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Xavier over at Drone X Factor. I'll put a link down below. Uh, he's got a lot of good tutorial, a lot of good information on all types of drones. I just recently uh, watched his video on battery care and kind of changed the whole way I go about dealing with my drone and my drone's batteries when I get back from flying. So, you know, if you get some time or even when you don't have some time, jump on in and check him out, man. All his stuff is fire. So check it out and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.